Hello again SG Beers, I'm Companion Wolf. In this Smile Game Builder video I am going to showcase the newest and most awesomest update to date, the Smile Game Builder 3D Character Editor. Yes, that's right, you can now create and edit your own characters right from within SGB itself. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to be notified of future software updates or when I upload new videos. I'd intended to do this video yesterday, but I literally lost my voice so I couldn't do it. In fact, I still have a sore throat today, so that's why I sound a little bit off. Anyway, before I go into the 3D character editor, which is the big update for version 1.8, there are a number of other updates I'd like to showcase first. First off, you can import 3D models using the MQO format. For those who don't know, this is a file extension used by Meta Sequoia, a 3D polygon modeling software created by Osamu Mizuno. It's also one of the two 3D import formats for Comipo, which allows you to drag and drop 3D objects and render them to look like 2D to create comic strips. I believe the other format is OBJ. Now I don't have any experience whatsoever with Meta Sequoia, but I'm sure this will help those who are familiar with it. Bear in mind that this is in beta, so bugs and errors may occur. Another useful update is the ability to edit um, the main interface with an external file. This is particularly useful when translating to other languages. I may go into this in a later tutorial. Next is being able to edit the previously uneditable game terminology under game data you will find it at the top. And as you can see, there are a lot more sub tabs here where you can edit everything. Uh, the store, which I think was there before. You can edit the elements, all of the items, the main menu, and second menu configuration the stats uh, battle and battle 2 which I believe was there before as well also in the events are three updates In the player movements, event, um, <clears throat> in the player movement in events, you can now change the player's speed. Uh, here you have from the slowest to the fastest. It's in the same way that you can with events. The next one is in Battle Store Game System. You can select whether to allow the player to run or disable it completely or dashing. Usually this is done by pressing the shift key and the direction and so if it's banned or disabled then the shift key to run will not work. The final one before diving into the 3D character editor is positioning the various windows on screen. From the display menu images um, you can now position the choices box. 
Remember that it used to be centralized only. So now you can position it anywhere on the screen. And it's the same way with the display store. Uh, this it is. Create store. And also the create in. So let's do it with the store. And then we add a medicinal herb. So now when it's play tested, we had put it on the center. So let's create a store and put it in the top left corner. Incidentally, if you put no items in the store, then it will only allow you to save. It will only allow you to sell. It won't allow you to buy, obviously. So as you can see, right here, it's on the top left, and of course it'll be anywhere that you set on screen and with those out of the way here's the moment you've been waiting for we'll now move on to the 3d character editor it's under add asset assets right here a quick note this will be locked by default but if you bought SGB when it was first released or before the recent summer sale this feature will be free of charge you should you should see a banner at the top when you first load up the game um, which you can click on and it'll guide you through the process of receiving your free steam key otherwise it'll be locked and you'll have to head over to the steam store I'll put the link in the description below to buy it but you can also if this has a little lock icon here you can also click on it and it'll go directly to the store so you can buy it it costs around ten dollars but man is it worth it there's a video on smile booms channel so I'll also put the description to that tutorial below it's in Japanese but it's fairly easy to follow um, for English or non Japanese speakers Anyway, since this was probably the most highly sought after feature, it's now implemented. In fact, I saw it said somewhere that not having the feature to edit characters would kill off SGB, and that may well have been true. So now, kudos to Smileboom for actually doing it. I'd also like to add here that if you want to request new features for future updates, be patient and don't be demanding, as I've seen some people already, and it just rankles me. Because the game dev team is comparatively small, so they have to prioritize things, obviously. And that said, one of the things I really like about Smileboom is that they will listen to their users and eventually will probably add that feature. It's just a matter of time and timing. So now, you can edit all aspects of this. You have a plethora of different things that you can do. And as you can see, lots of things going on. Um, <clears throat> when you click on it, 
it will be live I'm gonna go for a little sort of um, skeletony thing. Um, where is it? It should be here somewhere. Okay, here it is. Either that one. Or that one, yep. And then the body, lots of different, different costumes. And we're having a sort of bloody look to it. maybe that yeah that one and then the legs these are the boots so we have that one now if you don't like the colors um, with the head you can change the skin color it doesn't work here because it's meant to be white I think basically that the head is <coughs> um, you can change the hair color And the clothes color. Um, and of course, it has all of the uh, different animations here for you to preview. Okay. So if you're not quite happy with the color scheme or anything like that, then what you sh what you can do is you can actually edit it. This is the same way as if you were to create it in Blender. This is the UV template that they have, and this is where the magic can begin. You can zoom right the way in and right the way out. So if we go for like <coughs> eight would be pretty good I guess. Um, so what I want is something on the back uh, it's easy to figure out where everything goes you can undo or redo um, so for this let's have something here you can simply draw whatever you like and it'll appear there you can do the undo or control Z um, and add a filled ellipse like that you can also double click and change the color and then do it again you can get colors from certain areas 
you can also fill it in um, and then if you don't like something you can select it and move it around or you can cut it and obviously it'll fill, you have to be careful because it'll fill, but when you cut, um, paste it can be moved around and then uh, manipulated accordingly so that would be what it is when you're finished Oh, and incidentally, up here, and then up here, you can flip it. Um, and so let's put it roughly here. And when you're done, click on the pencil tool, and it will. Be placed there anyway when you are done press add and it will be added to the texture and this can then be used for something else um, so we create hair just a random head body this one would still be used but you can also revert to the default if you want and the legs and that would be it you can also randomly generate things um, there's some quite interesting effects here I, I played around with a random event for quite some time and then of course you can go in and, and sort of tweak it accordingly adjusting the skin color <laughs> create some aliens or something let's Which one do we have? I want to It was this one I have uh, that one there Like so, so when you save it you can give it a file name um, Color snowflake. And then after this, snowflake should be added. This is one I created earlier when I was experimenting with this one called Robert. And this one was generated with the random, um, <coughs> the random generator. Now, how cool is that? It's going to come in very, very handy. Anyway, that concludes this, the awesomest update to date. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and make sure you also hit the bell icon next to it to be notified in email of when I upload more videos. Alternatively, head over on to my Twitter and Facebook accounts for all of the news on my Smile Game Builder and RPG Maker projects. I also sometimes update content on each that I don't put anywhere else. And you can also visit the Smile Game Builder blog as well for updates. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.